questionable. I don't really know what to do with my hair. It needs to be up in some form. I'll do my makeup first though. I also don't super feel like doing makeup today. I'm probably just gonna do some blush. And then instead of mascara recently, I've just been curling my eyelashes and putting Vaseline on them. I only work 10 to two today, which is really nice. I have basically the entire day free. Dude, why do I look extra ugly today? Working 10 to two was usually a hit or miss for me because it's either really busy and it goes by really quickly or it's unbelievably slow and I actually just like stand there for four hours. Hopefully it's the first one today because I I don't super want to go to work. I got called in yesterday, so I've already worked more than anticipated this week, which is it's fine. I need the hours, but I hate when it's not busy. My right eyebrow looks wrong. Some days I genuinely like I just don't I need to not look in a mirror today. <laughs> Doing well. This is the best I'm gonna look today, unfortunately. I really hope it's busy today. The last time I worked a 10 to 2 shift, I thought I was gonna die. I was so bored. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love my job, but it was literally so slow and we had nothing to do. I was by myself in the front and I was just staring out the window for four hours. It was a painful shift, but I think today, today will be good. Willow has been doing this thing where every single time I bend down like a little bit, she'll just jump on my back. I just want to put on my shoes and here she is. <gasps> Say bye Willow. <laughs> I have just made it to work. I made it with three minutes to spare. Not really. I have to I have to clock in in, th in three minutes, but I'm here Anyways, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you at two. I just got off of work. I also stopped by Bath and Body Works and the grocery store just because there was a few things that I needed to grab. I'm tired. But work was good today. It went pretty quick. I'm really happy to be off though. So and I'm off tomorrow. I've worked the past four days in a row, which is a lot for me. Uh, usually my schedule is pretty scattered. So I'm never working like more than two days in a row, but I'm home now. Thank goodness. Although today does need to be a productive day. I had two new classes start for school for the new term. So I need to figure out what to do for those classes. And then I also need to do laundry today. Today. I'll probably spend the rest of the day just doing homework and cleaning and chores because what else do I spend my time doing? I thought I would give you a little haul. I stopped by Bath and Body Works because I'm out of soap in our bathroom and I had a Bath and Body Works gift card from Christmas. So I figured why not? It's free. They had a five for 27 deal on their soaps. So I, I literally just got five hand soaps so I don't run out anytime soon. I got this one. It's called I'm Just Wild For You. It smells like cherries. It smells so good. It literally, it smells like a slushy. And I I'm so, I wish I could drink this actually. Kitchen Mandarin, Cozy Vanilla Almonds, Sunshine and Lemons. I actually forgot that I grabbed that one. And then I also just got Peach Bellini. Those are the soaps that I got. And then I also stopped at the store mainly just for fruits and some croissants because I wanted to make a croissant sandwich. These are really, really good. I'm gonna make a croissant sandwich for lunch in a second. But I also grabbed some almond milk because I didn't have any. Why, why is it wet? Refried beans, got a bunch of kiwis. Mm massive strawberries. I don't know, they're huge. They smell really good though. Also just got this thing of blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. I'm probably just gonna make myself lunch really quickly. I'm starving. Like I said, today's gonna be more of a productive day for me because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have tried to film a day in the life video like five times and I just can never finish them because I don't do anything ever. I work, I clean, I do my homework. That's usually what my days look like, but I figured since I actually have things to do today, I might as well vlog it for you. Anyways, I'm gonna put all these groceries away and then make my sandwich. Let me teach you how to make a croissant sandwich. First of all, cutting it in half. Okay, it's kind of crumbling everywhere. Next, microwave it for like 10 or 15 seconds because otherwise it'll get too soft. Chicken breast and pepper jack cheese. I'm also gonna use this stuff because it's so good. This is from Trader Joe's. It's their truffle aioli. It's so good. It has a very strong flavor though, so you can't use too much. I think I have spinach too. I'm just gonna throw a little bit on there so I can incorporate a vegetable. Just a little bit though. I don't want it to taste like spinach. A single slice of pepper jack. I don't even remember the last time I was this excited to eat something. Also, Trader Joe's, I don't know if any of you guys have bought this before, but this is the worst packaging in the world. It's like all, it's just so hard to get out like a single slice and that's how it's done. This is so good. It's so good. Oh, dude, I had pickles. I should have put a pickle on there. Nah. Pickles are very hit. Actually, you know, I used to really dislike pickles. These are so good. My dad's gonna watch this and think I'm disgusting. My dad cannot eat pickles. He hates pickles more than anything. In case you're wondering what it's like to have cats, this is after Clyde sat on me for 10 minutes and he didn't move. He just like sat on me. I'm gonna lint roll my pants before I shower. 
I'm out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair even though I feel like I probably should have. There's no point. I'm like not doing anything else today. So I might as well save hair wash day for another day. Every time I don't wash my hair, I regret it, but it's fine. It's fine. My skin is not looking the best. I've just felt like a little more ugly than usual today. So I think I'm gonna do a face mask. I need to get some more face masks at some point. I have an Ulta gift card that I have yet to use and Ulta carries some good face masks. So maybe I'll look online, but for now I have this, which I think is expired, but this is the, the only thing I have. It's the uh, Used to the People Super Clay Power Mask. What was I saying? Oh, okay. Basically, I just feel ugly and I feel like a face mask might help. Although it does have the little like 12 month thing on the back. And I know for a fact that I have had this longer than a year. Hopefully this doesn't make my skin worse. Clyde, bruh, stop. He always steals my hair ties. Can you let it go? Drop it. I'm gonna have to kick you out of the bathroom. Don't steal it. That's good enough for me. And I leave this on for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go make myself some tea. I'm a little tired today and I have some caffeinated teas that I can make. And I figure that'll help me with some motivation to start my homework. The only thing that I struggle with with online school is like managing my time well. I pretty much just have homework assignments to do and they're due on Thursdays and Sundays. The issue is that I don't ever start those assignments until the Thursday and Sunday that they're due. And then I'm doing homework for like four hours straight and it's not very fun. So I'm trying to incorporate doing homework every day into my routine, which is not very fun, but I think it'll help me out in the long run. So I'm gonna try and at least get all of my notes done for my classes today. For my tea, I'm using the brand Art of Tea. This has been my favorite tea brand ever since my parents got it for me for Christmas. I'm running low. They got me a huge box of a bunch of different flavors and I am down to just these and half of these are just like the wrappers because I want to make a journal page with all of the teas and like my rating of them just just for fun I think I'm gonna make this one it's called happy it's a green tea blend I have been avoiding using this one because it is my last one of this kind and this I think was one of my favorites and I'm devastated I need to buy more yeah I'm just waiting for my water to boil also please look at my flowers they look so pretty in the sun right now these are from my coworker. she got me these for valentine's day i don't know how they're still alive no complaints from me and then my boyfriend got me these ones i just wanted to show you because i love the way that the sun comes in the kitchen in here it makes me so happy i hope you enjoyed looking at them what you're joking me my neighbor's right outside my window that is so embarrassing that is so embarrassing i need to step away not only am i in a robe but my face looks like this and i'm wearing a banana slug headband at 4 p.m and on top of the way that i look i am videotaping myself i'm so embarrassed they're still standing there they're not right up on my window this time i was just trying to pick a mug i actually don't know if i boiled okay first of all i can't even see i don't know if i boiled enough water to fill this cup barely Wonderful. Oh my gosh, I literally, I don't know how long they were standing there for. Anywho. Speaking of people being right outside my window, the other day in the morning, I, I was sitting down with Clyde and Willow because as you saw from this morning, I literally, I have to sit down by Willow because Clyde will come and eat her food the second that he's done with his and she will just let him. So, so I was sitting down with them and I look up at my front door and there's just like a lady standing there and I got scared. First of all, I'm in the robe again. So I didn't want to answer the door, but she hadn't knocked or anything. So I was like, all right, like what's, what is she doing standing on my front porch and she's just kind of like standing there like looking around and she didn't do anything she just walked up to my front door looked around and then left in front of my apartment you can't really just like walk to my front door i'm not gonna explain because i don't want to i don't want anybody to come and kill me but you have to go out of your way to like get onto my front porch to my tea i add these two things always i'm gonna add some honey and then i have this liquid stevia i will use probably like five drops in here just because this is a bigger mug or seven oops I'm gonna let this steep for a little bit longer and I'm gonna go wash this face mask off of me. I am in desperate need of new skincare products. I'm looking at myself and I'm like, girl, I don't even, I don't even know what to put on my face. Okay, I have this stuff from La Roche-Posay. Is there salicylic acid treatment? Is this gonna help me? I don't know. I don't know if this has ever helped my skin, but I use it because that's what I have. I would hate to buy skincare if I don't know if it's gonna work for my skin. Clyde! Can you drop it? Can you drop it, please? This is disgusting. Okay, don't eat it. Okay, I'm gonna wash this because it's gonna smell like his mouth. And that is not, that is not something you ever want to smell, if I'm being honest with you. Clyde, Clyde's mouth 
smells toxic. <laughs> Anyways, I also put some of this on, just a Tower 28 spray. All right, so this is my outfit of choice for the rest of the day. I also was gonna redo my makeup, but I figured I should just give my skin a break. So I just put some Vaseline on my eyelashes and that's it. My hair is also looking questionable, but not much I can do now. Anyways, this shirt is from Brandy Melville. And then these pants, I honestly can't remember if they're my boyfriend's or if I bought them, but they're Dickies. So basically for my school stuff, I'm doing the rest of my college education through South New Hampshire University. It's completely online, which I really like. But the first week of a new term, everything is due on Eastern time. So all my discussion posts and everything is due at 9 p.m. this week instead of midnight. But each class has a page of resources. It's usually kind of a lot of stuff to look at, but it helps out a lot to take notes because then I have all of the important stuff written down. Whatever, obviously that's what taking notes is. These are the resources for one class. So I'm gonna go through each of these and take whatever notes I need to take. And then hopefully I have enough time to do it for my other class too, but I don't know. Honestly, the notes, very time consuming. I'm taking digital marketing and what else am I taking? Visual communication and design. If you didn't know, I'm majoring in communications. I'm gonna take some notes and that's all. Okay, I just finished taking all my notes for my first class. I just have a page. Seb is on his way home from work and he wants to go to the tailor to drop off some pants. So I think this is all the homework that I'm gonna do for right now. I'll probably wake up early tomorrow to finish the rest of my notes. done but I just burn I don't know if you can see how red it is this part right here because look at this there's a hole right there and the pan touched it Ow. I think they're probably good to take out now but I'm a little scared my hand hurts so bad I'm just gonna try better to avoid the hole I guess I don't know I think I'm gonna get a blister I need to like hold an ice cube my eyes I made blueberry muffins. They're supposed to be like a healthier version. I also halved the recipe. Number one, in case they turned out gross. And two, I just, I didn't have enough ingredients to make the full recipe, so. But I made six of them. I'm gonna let those guys cool. I did all the dishes while they were baking. So that's one chore out of the way. I have like a set list of chores that I have to do every single night before I go to sleep and dishes is one of them. I think I'm also gonna make something to eat right now. I don't super feel like cooking. All right, so I just finished making my dinner. I, my hand is in so much pain. I'm holding a block of ice wrapped in a paper towel. My hand's like shaking. It hurts so bad. I feel like I'm being a baby. I was not in focus. <laughs> There's a blister. I would say my pain is valid. Every time I take it off the ice, it's just like unbearable. I got the muffin. I'm gonna try it. Mm, mm. It's not the best muffin I've ever had in the world, but I mean, it's pretty good. My dinner, I have spinach tortellini with some pesto and Parmesan cheese. And this, honestly, I kind of regret putting on a plate because I feel like I'm not actually that hungry, but I feel like I should eat. I have an apple and some cheese. Girl dinner. It's like an hour and a half later and my hand is still so ouch. My friend Maggie just told me that mustard might help. So now I have mustard on my hand. She said that tomatoes, like the acidity of it will like cancel out the burn or something. I don't really know the science behind it, but I don't have tomatoes. And she said that mustard also works, but I don't really know if it's helping. It's very much not helping. Can you see that? Actually, I don't think you can. It's right there and it hurts. And now my hand smells like mustard. I don't know, like maybe it does feel better with it on. It does feel kind of nice right now, but I kind of think it's just because it's cold. My plan for the rest of the night is honestly just to finish up some chores. I did not do laundry and I did not sweep my floor, but my hand is injured, so I'm not gonna do those today. I'll, I'll do them tomorrow. But I have more dishes since I made dinner and I need to clean the cat's litter boxes, clean their food bowls, and then I'll probably go to bed. Mm -hmm. 